coming up. All things Halloween. I've been called a screamer a number of times, but not because of that. I thought this was a family show. Make a bold choice is what we're saying. <laughs> How would you say that? The worst day of the year. Quite mind-boggling, that one. But yeah, I get, I get it, I get it. I'd be careful what you wish for if I were you. <laughs> so very wet. Shall I time it? Now I want to hear it. It's what she does incredibly well. That doesn't make it the right way of doing it. And now, enjoy the podcast. How do you say that? How do you say that? How do you say that? How How do do you you say say that? that? Hello and welcome to today's episode of How Do You Say That, sponsored by BritishVoiceOver.co.uk, the podcast for voiceovers, podcasters and, frankly, anyone else with a professional interest in how your script should sound. Let me introduce my wonderful co-host, Samantha Boffin. Now, today's fun fact about Sam is that she loves something that I hate. Marmite. <laughs> you love Marmite. I absolutely oh. love Marmite. It's, it's a really simple, fun fact, actually, this week. I, I, <laughs> I got really bored of trying to find something really interesting about me, and I just went with Marmite <laughs> this week. The only time I've had Marmite in the last 20 years is when I had COVID and I lost my sense of taste, and right. we put a stripe of Marmite down my tongue to test it. No. And my salt receptors went off, but I couldn't taste it. Oh, probably wide if you don't like it. I Absolutely. can imagine it is, well, well, it is. It's a well-known, uh, you know, love-hate thing, isn't it? But absolutely. I absolutely love it. Oh, I have it all you. the time I can. Nice. Yeah, exactly. And my co-host is Mark Rice, who really hates all things Halloween. Oh, well, this is our Halloween <laughs> episode, of course, and yes. we'll we'll be referencing that in a few minutes' time. But I don't <laughs> like Halloween. I don't. It scares me. I am a bit of a wuss Uh-oh. like that. Seriously? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I will be out of my house and be at the cinema with friends, yeah. away from all of the trick or treating nonsense. And it won't be a horror film or anything. I hate horror films too. It's like it's just right. it. It does for me. It is genuinely the worst day of the year. Wow. Because I, I must admit, I do like a bit of Halloween. I once, I once went to a very, I went to a Halloween party, and what? A, well, I, I won't use what I think about this particular boyfriend. He's next, <laughs> a very, very much an ex-boyfriend, and he, he was so pathetic. But they literally, they had, um, you know, spiders' webs and spiders hung up around the house. Yeah. And he said to me as he came in, this is probably why he's an ex actually. He said to me as he came in, oh, Sam, I can't bear, can't bear spiders. You'll have to take them down. <laughs> so I had the embarrassing oh, <laughs> moment no. having to say to the hostess, I'm. Really really sorry but he doesn't like spiders <laughs> i felt such a t- Anyway, <laughs> let's say no more. Oh, Of course, it's not just us. Every week we invite a voiceover guest to come and share their opinions and, of course, their talent. And this week, it's voiceover Blanche Anderson. Hello, Blanche. How are you? Hello. It Hello. Is me. It's lovely to have. It's lovely to have you on. Um, whereabouts are you based? Well, there's news for you. So I, I'm in London at the moment, but right. I'm moving to Edinburgh in <gasps> two weeks. Oh, really? Exciting. Hot off the press. So by the time this goes out, you'll be in Edinburgh. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. That's amazing. I'm a bit nervous about the weather. That's kind of like the main thing that I'm worried about <laughs> after 14 yeah. years in sunny England. <laughs> Do you have a fun fact for us? Well, my fun fact's not that fun, but it is a fact, <laughs> which is ironically, for someone that reads for a living, I am dyslexic. So oh, yeah. Right. You see, now I knew that, Blanche, mm-hmm. and there's a very good reason uh, why we did something very particular, therefore, for this episode, which yes. we'll get onto at the end of the show. Absolutely. Yes, we'll come back to that. Um, <laughs> Sam, would you like to tell me a little bit more about Blanche's career? I, I would. Thank you very much, Mark. <laughs> I'm glad you asked. Blanche is a multi award winning Scottish voiceover artist with over 11 years' experience. And north of the border, she is the female station voice for BBC Radio Scotland, BBC wow. Sounds, and. The voice of little till points. Oh, I love that. Blanche also works internationally and has voiced everything from radio, TV and cinema commercials to corporate training videos, radio drama productions, IVR gaming, audio description, really? animation and crowd ADR. Oh, wow, that's goodness a Goodness sakes. <laughs> Clients have included Amazon, Chromebook, Samsung and HSBC. That's quite a list there, Blanche. I don't know what to say. I'm just kind of chuckling along being like, oh, goodness. <laughs> How'd you be humble there, eh? <laughs> <laughs> it's all brilliant. Oh, well, I'll tell no, you what. Shall we have a look at the first script of the show then and ask, how do you say that? How do you say that? So this is a betwixt and between script. And it oh. is actually, yes, and I'll explain why. Uh, it's actually something <laughs> I'm working on right now. Oh, excellent. Fact. Okay. What do you think it is, guys? It's got horses in it. I think it might be an audio book of some kind or yes. story of some kind. Yep. I thought children's audio book particularly. Mm, maybe, yeah. 
not my realm audiobooks, obviously, <laughs> being dyslexic. This is an audio drama. Ah. Oh. It is an audio drama that knits the story together with narration. Clever. Oh. Yep. So there is there are multiple narrators in this, so quite a few narrators, who pop up between all the action from the characters. Right. But the interesting thing about narration within an audio drama, and perhaps anyway for kids' audiobooks anyway, because you're right, this is um this is aimed at younger people. Mm-hmm. It is far more invested in the action than you would have In a normal story, if you see what I mean. Okay. It has Mm -hmm. to mimic and it has to kind of fill in the action that the characters that you've already heard are doing. So it needs to be quite excited. Does it make sense? Mm -hmm. When I read it, I thought this is an onomatopoeic story, as in you're almost making the sounds of, so there's a blast of wind and a whirl of sound, all of that kind of thing. Does does that kind of work? Yes, not leaning into it too much is good, but yes, definitely. It, okay. It's it's got a lot more in it than you think because yes. it's it's you know um, yeah it's it's filling in the gaps that the characters aren't doing. If you see what I mean, quite mind boggling that way. Yeah, yeah, a yeah bit, I, I, a get it, I get it. I get it. Right. Okay. Uh, I suppose I've got to go first, haven't You've I? Got to go oh, first. I've got to go first. All right. Well, let's <laughs> sight reading, Mark. Let's give it. I know. Absolutely. I'm not too bad at <laughs> sight reading, but uh, let's let's give this one a try. Okay. After two days of pleasant rambling over grassy downs and along narrow by-lanes, they came out on the high road. They were strolling along, the mole by the horse's head, when they saw a small cloud of dust advancing on them at incredible speed. With a blast of wind and a whirl of sound, it was on them. The horse reared and plunged, driving the cart backwards towards the ditch. Then there was a deafening crash, and the cart lay on its side in the ditch, a complete wreck. Nice. Yes, Very you definitely nice. got the action in, yeah. There's a lot of pace change in that, isn't there? There's a, well, yeah, and I think that's why they use that bit of narration there, because it takes you from a nice, gentle mm-hmm. part of the story yeah. to a much more um, uh, energetic action part packed. of the story. <laughs> action so, movie. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Mm-hmm. I love the fact that you said by lanes or something as opposed to by lanes. Oh, I by- thought I'd read that incorrectly. So that's that's promising. No, by by lanes are like like narrow by- country roads, narrow by yes, lanes. No, you're absolutely right. And I and I read it as if it was something narrow by, by something. Yeah. I like the Good ditch. Point. That was my favorite part that you did. The ditch. Yes, the ditch. It was very dramatic. Ditch. Yes, it was very exciting. <laughs> you could really you could really see the drama that unfolded. I thought that yeah. you did a really nice job of encapsulating that excitement. Well, thank you. Definitely. <laughs> Blanche, you get to go now. Yeah, well, <laughs> because I saw in my head that it was from a children's book, I kind of have practice in slightly children's um, presenter mode. So yeah. just bear with me while I do that. No worries. <laughs> no worries. <laughs> Here you go. After two days of pleasant rambling over grassy downs and along narrow by lanes, they came out on the high road. They were strolling along the mole by the horse's head when they saw a small cloud of dust advancing on them at incredible speed. With a blast of wind and a whirl of sound it was on them. The horse reared and plunged, driving the cart backwards towards the ditch. Then there was a deafening crash and the cart lay on its side in the ditch, a complete wreck. Oh, so very story. much oh. children's really nice. yeah. target market there. But it is, it is uh, broadly, it's a, it's a target market of children. So that's not wrong in any way, shape, or form. What I loved, I could you you did a lovely thing with strolling along. They were just strolling <laughs> along, minding their own business. Everything was happy, and I really liked the way you you did that. That was great. I want some criticisms. Uh, you want some? I criticisms. think you guys are very lovely on this show, oh, okay. and I like things to improve. <laughs> <laughs> Well, okay, so... I'm not sure about that Scottish accent. Yeah. (laughs) Also, now I'm asking for it, I'm kind of regretting it. Yeah, I'd I'd be careful what you wish for if I were you. (laughs) It's probably the only thing that I would have said is that as you got to the second half of that, in getting that excitement and um, speed into it, there's Mm -hmm. a tendency to not pause then at all thinking I've just got to go at this like a juggernaut. Very true. There's still in it, yeah, there's still the ability to get a bit of light and shade even when you're 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 getting excited towards the end. Agreed, yes. Sam. But 
um, the wonderful thing that Blanche did there was, where even though the line says, advancing on them at incredible speed, mm-hmm. and I certainly sped up there, whereas Blanche yep. actually slowed down at yes. incredible speed. And, 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 do and, a lot of you, incredible, yeah. <laughs> but I really liked that. I thought that that was a big contrast there. That worked for yes. me. Yes, yeah, hmm. for sure. Absolutely. I see why you guys are doing this podcast. <laughs> there's a lot of ways you can say a script absolutely there are that's the whole and that's point the beauty you see and there's what's nice is there's no right or wrong way even if yeah. I, I you know when we do this bit that we're just coming up to the way I did it or Mark did it or whoever did it it's not necessarily that doesn't make it the right way of doing it it just makes it the way that it was the, done the way the that the client but, wanted it yeah yeah. well not even that Sometimes the way you not. did it or the way you <laughs> interpreted what the client yes. wanted you to do and we all Quite. bring something different to it yeah which mm-hmm. is the beauty of it all so you say you're working on this at the moment have you actually recorded it yet or is it still to happen we've recorded this bit excellent well i would love to hear what you did brilliant yeah okay after two days of pleasant rambling over grassy downs and along narrow by lanes they came out on the high road they were strolling along the mole by the horse's head when they saw a small cloud of dust advancing on them at incredible speed With a blast of wind and a whirl of sound, it was on them. The horse reared and plunged, driving the cart backwards towards the ditch. Then there was a deafening crash, and the cart lay on its side in the ditch, a complete wreck. Lovely. Oh, lovely. Well done. There was one point, so you came out on the high road and you ended on a real high point there. And then Mm. I was was just thinking, and and you did uh, different... Uh, things for blast of wind and whirl of sound and reared and plunged and you really mm-hmm. you you hit all of those brilliantly. Yeah, I don't. It's it was interesting because when we did it in the in in the moment, as it were, we did do all of the um we didn't do the narration separately. Right. So I knew how the characters were ah. voicing this. So yeah. I was able to pick up the energy that they had. And in fact, it, it almost immediately goes into another piece with the characters in it. Um, so you're, you're able to feed on the energy of the characters if you are lucky enough to do it in the moment with them. Yeah, absolutely. And that yes. doesn't always happen. No, 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 I can quite see that. Mm. What did you think, Blanche? Well, I totally agree with the, well, kind of your first first take on it, Mark, which was like, um, you know, the onomatopoeic, which I can't say, that sort <laughs> of side with bringing out the words. But also the other thing I thought was, you were very much talking one-on-one to the listener. Yes. You kind of, say compared to us, you kind of brought it down a little bit yep. more. It was more mm. intimate, I felt. So, love that. I do get annoyed with myself, though, that I, I, I and I think we, I don't know, it might, might just be me that does this. You kind of fall in to what you know you do um, kind of well, if you like, that what you what you do habitually. And that mm-hmm. does annoy me. That's it's, it's, This podcast has been really good for me to pick, to pick me up, to drag <laughs> me up by the bootstraps. And try lots of different things For as God's well. For God's sake, do, yeah. do something yeah. different, Samantha. A hundred percent, though. I naturally, like, thought or read your script as being quite upbeat and quite energetic. Mm-hmm. And that's kind mm-hmm. of bread and butter, isn't it, for me? Yeah. So it, it yeah, makes yeah, yeah. sense. I also think that every reasonably well-known voice actor is booked for their main style unless yes. they have auditioned for something completely different and i think yeah. i think that's why we tend to do more of our main style i was doing a corporate today that they mm-hmm. wanted in my standard corporate thing there was nothing different about what i've done as a thousand other corporates but mm-hmm. that's what they wanted that's they came to me specifically for that we all need that we all kind of you know to get reoccurring work we kind of need to get that niche going true. right or what that is true you know. That is a very true. And a very good point. (laughs) Absolutely. So enjoy it. (laughs) Play How Do You Say That? Now, it is worthwhile remembering that these are real scripts that we're working on, but we've changed the names and some details to avoid copyright issues. Now, Blanche, tell us a bit about your script, please. Mm. Oh, guys, I love this script. Um, It's one of my favourite ones. And because it's a Halloween episode... Absolutely. Obviously... A Halloween script. <laughs> I spotted that by the word spooktacular. Yes. <laughs> but I, I tried to give you an extra challenge mm. um, by taking away most of the directions. Thanks for that. That's, <laughs> that's always helpful. <laughs> yeah, I just thought, you know what, you've got to do these things. So, Well, t- tell us, what, what did the director, what did the client tell you 
I quite like the idea of you just doing it as it reads. Okay, because yeah. I have an idea fun. in my head. Yeah, I have an idea in my head already. Okay. Yeah. Um, as I'm sure Sam does. All right. Yeah. No, mm. I'm 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 happy to do that. Or maybe that's cruel, but I think you go for it. No, it is, fair. You know, Halloween theme cruelty. Blah blah blah. <laughs> it <laughs> is. So. Okay. All right then. Nice activity this Halloween. Experience ghostly ghouls and things that go bump in the night. Ow! Who put that there? <clears throat> Join Nice Activity Ghost Hunt Spooktacular until the 31st of October with hair-raising photo ops, ghostly projections and more. It's frightening fun for everyone. And you could win tickets for two adults and two children. Just creep on over to NiceActivity.com. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant! <laughs> no, no, I like I like it. Now uh, that's not a million miles away from what I was thinking of doing. Mm-hmm. I have to say, so I might have to I might have to just to, to swivel a little bit. I I like that. Was this a thirty second commercial by any chance? Oh, it gosh. was a thirty second was commercial. <laughs> wow, that's and a lot of there's a lot of words there. A lot of sound effects as well as we'll come. Oh, wow. Come okay. A little okay. Bit later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Interesting that you went for a witch voice. You yeah. knew. Mm. That it wasn't just, you know, your happy commercial read. It had a bit of character to it. So oh, I like that. We, 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 we're, we're old hat at this now. We, oh. spot, we spot a commercial script and now go, oh, that's a character script. That's, that's, they, yes. don't, they don't want me. They don't want a nice activity this Halloween. <laughs> yes, <laughs> well, although maybe we should get you to do that. But no, let's hear your scary voice. The, the, <laughs> other, the other way I thought that you could do it is not witchy, but, or, uh, but, but sort of um, uh, whispery. You know, yes. sort of. Um, but then I thought, and the reason I threw that out is because it did look as though it was um, aimed at younger kids. Yep. Yeah, nice definitely. activity, ghost hunts, spectacular. And then I thought, actually, that might be a bit creepy. <laughs> Might be a bit Voldemorty. If it's more Voldemorty, it's like that nice activity yes. this Halloween is is not <laughs> very nice thinking. at all. It's quite Ooh. scary, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Also, you um, definitely couldn't do a thirty seconds if you're trying to like no. whisper voice. No, 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 no. Absolutely, <laughs> no, that's absolutely. true. And I very much doubt I got that anywhere near thirty seconds. So, but Mark, what would you do? <laughs> I'm not going to go a million miles away from you, actually. To oh, be fair, so excellent. let's let's give it a try. A nice activity this Halloween. Experience ghostly ghouls and things that go bump in the night. Ow! Who put that there? Uh, uh, join Nice Activity Ghost Hunt Spooktacular until the 31st of October with hair-raising photo ops, ghastly projections and more. It's frightening fun for everyone. And you could win tickets for two adults and two children. Just creep on over to NiceActivity.com. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Those sound effects at the end. Wow. <laughs> do you know what I like? I, what I liked and what I definitely didn't do was that you 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 really sped up on the end when nice things for two adults and two children. Oh, I love that. Yeah, you did a real speed up on that. Well, at that good. point, I thought I'd taken too much time with Al who put that there. Mm. And that if I was fitting it in thirty, I would mm. really have to speed up for that end there. Yep, yep, Very yep, yep, true. Yep. Which is the reason why I did it, rather than rather than anything else. I don't think it lost the character by speeding up particularly. No. On the contrary, no. I thought I thought I really I really enjoyed that. That is a voice that I've pulled out several times for several commercials already this year. So it's like mm. it's nice that you brought that along, Blanche. To be, <laughs> you are welcome. But also, it's just such a fun one to do. Yes, and like, yes. how often do we actually get a radio commercial like this where you get to, you know, nice. play around? So. Very true. So tell us what your direction was, because we might have been so off the <laughs> Okay, so you were totally, both of you got it totally right. And Sam, yeah, definitely like, you know, it's a family event, basically. So that's mm. that's right as well. And I think, yeah, but, I mean, both of you got it spot on in terms of like Halloween voice. And um, the only bit that you didn't get was the this is why I was being a bit cheeky by getting, <laughs> you know, taken out of the directions. Mm. The ow. Who put that there is back in your normal voice. Yes, I did wonder that as I said oh, it. Yeah, yes, okay, yeah, yeah that, that makes sense. Yeah. yeah, going into character and then coming yeah. out again. So that okay. was basically the only bit. But I, you know, spot on and well done, guys. Now I want to hear it. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yes, please. Here you go. A nice activity this Halloween. Experience ghostly ghouls and things that go bump in the na- Ow, who put that there? <clears throat> 
Join Nice Activity Ghost Hunt Spooktacular until the 31st of October. With hair-raising photo ops, ghostly projections and more. It's frightening fun for everyone. And you could win tickets for two adults and two children. Just creep on over to NiceActivity.com. <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> That's the kind of laugh that really would make you cough, isn't it? Blimey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, here's one thing that I spotted as you did it, and I didn't spot when Sam did it. Ghostly projections. I read like... that as ghastly projections, because I, I read that as an that. A rather than an O. Ah, yes. interesting. No, I, I, I read it as a ghostly. How interesting. So that's just my mm. eyesight then mm. on the size of print. But we will come to that <laughs> a little bit later on in the show. Because mm. interestingly... In the font that we have it in, that tripped me up as opposed to not doing. That's really yes. interesting. So, yeah, so I wouldn't choose this particular font that we've got. But we'll come back to that later in the show. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> that's the straight part. That's the straight scripts done. But now the section of the show that anything can happen in, it's the yes. brilliant wildcard section. Let's see if we can approach these scripts in a completely different way. So, Blanche, can you pick one of these scripts for Mark and think of a new way that he could approach it? Yes. So I'd like yes. to pick. <laughs> yeah, you don't have to do it in song. Don't worry. <laughs> you... Although. <laughs> Although maybe oh, that dear. could be a new oh, one. Dear. Well, if you don't like this one, you could choose that. Um, so basically a common theme of my life working mainly in radio commercials is doing everything a lot faster. So you get given a, you know, 35 or four touching yep. 40 second script and you're going to fit into 30, but still it's trying to sound calm and cool and easy. Mm. So, uh, script two, so the, you know, the, the Halloween right. one we just did, I would like you to try and fit that into 20 seconds and it can oh. be done because I did it earlier. <gasps> oh. oh my God, I'm so pleased that I didn't get your thing, Blanche. <laughs> <laughs> this is but, probably up Mark Street, actually. Yes, I want it warm. So we don't want the same, you know, character style. We just want like a nice warm oh, read, okay. but not too oh. perky. So, okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. Uh, f- but fast. Uh, shall I get? Shall I time fast. it? Fast. Oh, oh, if you really oh, have to. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Also, oh, yes, please. Oh. Thanks for adding the extra pressure there, Blanche. Yeah, exactly. Shall I just say go? No, you just hit the stopwatch on my first word. I okay. think <laughs> that's probably Perfect. easiest that way. <laughs> At night activity this Halloween, experience ghostly ghouls and things that go bump in the night. Oh, you put that there. Uh, Join Nice Activity Ghost Hunt Spooktacular until the 31st of October. With hair-raising photo ops, ghastly projections and more, it's frightening fun for everyone. And you could win tickets for two adults and two children. Just creep on over to (laughs) NiceActivity.com. Oh my God, you did that in 18 seconds. But I still tripped over. (laughs) But you you had that trip over time. Wow. Amazing, well done. If well I'd done. had a stopwatch myself, I probably would have slowed slightly then. Well, you were at 18.86, so like so, 90, so, but yeah. still. Wow. Yeah, uh, impressive. <laughs> impressive. Brilliant. Well done. <laughs> whoop, whoop. <laughs> so were you asked to do it for real at 20 seconds? No, no. 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 This no, one no, was no, at 30 no, no, seconds, no, no. but okay. I just mean on a daily basis, I'm yeah. asked to fit yeah. things in. So I just thought it would be quite a fun challenge since we have yeah, to go absolutely. through it daily. Right? Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go back to Halloween for Sam to pick a genre. Yeah, 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 I know. Um, Mm. I'm going to say, but your script, the Mm. lovely um, story, Mm. but as a zombie. Oh, brilliant. (laughs) Zombie, zombie, zombie. Oh, uh, as As an undead. So the narrator is is an undead narrator. Okay. Okay. After two days of pleasant rambling over grassy downs and along narrow (laughs) bylanes, they came out on the high road. They were strolling along, mauled by the horse's head, when they saw a small amount of dust advancing on them at incredible speed. With a blast of wind and a swirl of sound, it was on them. The horse reared and plans driving the cart backwards towards the ditch. And then there was a <laughs> deafening crash. And the cart lay on its side in the ditch completely. <laughs> 
Sue Bloody Purr. Oh, that was amazing. That was gruesome. Well I have got done. wet oh. hands all over my face. I was literally I'm not surprised. sticking my <laughs> fingers in my licking my hands. <laughs> that was so good. You know how we were talking earlier about um, like people getting their kind of nature <laughs> typecast? That could be your one. The zombie undead. <laughs> I don't know about what? you, but I could see that zombie in very clear detail. <laughs> Could yeah. could you, Sam? What were you visualising? Well, I, you know, I was thinking uh, zombie as in pressing your, you know, the, the zombies that are falling apart. But, yeah. Uh, what's that brilliant film that I absolutely love? Shaun of the Dead? Shaun of the Dead. Yeah. I was going to say it's one of the yeah. Cornetto I'll movies. Yeah. And he's, <laughs> they're, they're literally pressing their faces off and going, yep. <laughs> the glass of the salt. Love was it. that yes. sort of thing. So very wet. Nice one for Halloween. Lovely, lovely. But of course... <laughs> It does mean that we now have to choose one for Blanche. We do have to choose one for Blanche. And I'm going to go mm. quite different. Oh. I'm not going to go Halloween, actually. <laughs> but I'm going to do script one. But can you do a sort of detective sleuth, a sleuther? They've solved the crime and they're giving you the denouement. I've mm. got an idea. Yeah, it might not be a That's good okay. idea. It's an idea. But I've we got say an that idea. most weeks, Blanche. To be fair, <laughs> make, make a bold choice. Is what we're saying. <laughs> right here we go. After two days of pleasant rambling over grassy downs and along narrow by lanes, they came out on the high road. They were strolling along the mole by the horse's head, when they saw a small cloud of dust advancing on them at incredible speed. With a blast of wind and a whirl of sound it was on them, the horse reared and plunged, driving the cart backwards towards the ditch. Then there was a deafening crash. The cart lay on its side in the ditch and a complete wreck. I entirely saw what you were doing there. Oh my God, I loved that. I was trying to go for a little bit taggerty, but I wasn't sure about it. And all that, (laughs) really leaning into those, yeah, the rolling R's. Yeah, lovely. Really yeah. lovely. Fantastic. Yeah. <laughs> but also I could I could see like the denouement of a of a murder investigation. Yes. It yes. was that the tone was exactly right. Mm-hmm. Brilliant. Well, done. well, that makes me feel good about myself. Yeah, Loved it. so it should, <laughs> absolutely. It. Well, of course, if you want to play along in the privacy of your own booths, we have put the scripts in the show notes so you can have a try yourself. How do you say that? On to our voiceover question this week. Mm. It's not so much a question. Well, I guess it is a question because I'm going to be asking Blanche about things. <laughs> so Blanche, we knew that you were dyslexic. And when you sent the script over to us, you sent it using Comic Sans. Mm. Which is not a font that a lot of people use for scripts. Do you find it really helpful when people do that? Yeah, I've, I've never been given a script in Comic Sans. So I always do it myself. But um. It was basically, Sam, thank you. It was you who posted on LinkedIn about mm. like Dyslexia Scotland. I can't remember the ins well, and outs. Of course it was, yeah, yeah, a while ago. Yeah. Ago, yeah. yeah. yeah I was going to say, so basically they found that, wasn't it something like crazy, like 70% of improved people's readings or something? Yes. Or 70% Absolutely. of people. Was it that many? Yeah, I think it was. Yeah. It was something quite dramatic. Yeah. Exactly. Improved dyslexics reading. So I thought, hey, I'll try it. And basically I met with this like dyslexic specialist who kind of gave me, gave me some tips, including finding a font that suits you. So it doesn't have to be Comic Sans. Yeah. But yeah. the reason Comic Sans is good is about it separating the letters and yeah. the sizing of letters, but also different other tips that you can do to reformat a script. So say, for example... Most of, well, the worst is when you get a storyboard, right? And you've got to try and read on that. But equally, most commercial scripts anyway and other ones are indented. So if you... Yes, true. Yeah. So it makes your eye kind of have to skip over. Yeah. So you want to reformat it so it's always down a left mar- um, margin. Mm-hmm. And then, yeah, reformat the um, Clever. the font as well. Yeah. And then the other one is quite a lot of scripts are in bold. And apparently that's harder for dyslexics to read in bold I think that's well. harder for everyone to read. Interesting. Uh, having a script in bold, bad idea. So if there are any yeah. script writers out there, do not send it that way. I find that fascinating because actually I found Comic Sans more difficult to read. Mm-hmm. Um, as, as I mentioned earlier on, I change all of my fonts uh, when I get a script in to um, Calibri. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. And because my eyesight is not as good as it was, I put it at point twenty. 
on my Blimey. screen. Yeah. So it's, it's got to be big. Gosh, and I tell okay. you what, I had Comic Sans 0.18, and that's why I couldn't get the difference between ghastly and ghostly. Oh, that's really I interesting. I think you just get used to it. So I think yeah, it's do. more yeah. about just finding whatever suits you and kind of consistency. Mm-hmm. Whereas if your brain's already got to kind of translate per font yeah. and per size exactly. and stuff like that, yep. on top of having to speak really yep. fast if you're doing commercials, mm. then it's just too much, isn't it? Agreed. It is. But what, what do you do when you go out to outside studios, Blanche? Do you prep them, as it were? Do you ask them to to put you know to ask them to help you through it because often when we're going to outside studios we actually don't even get the script till we're literally you're there. in the exactly. studio yep. Yep. so you prime them well everyone's so nice now I remember back in the day when I started people you know you didn't want to talk about being dyslexic mm. but now people really make an effort to um, you know provide you with a script in advance Good. so I basically just tell Please. them I'm dyslexic and they do that and then yeah. in terms of like the formatting I just take my tablet with me and I, I do that ah. but ah, it is clever yeah. It is challenging when you get, um, you know, script changes, but mm. I don't know. I Yeah, I, I somehow manage. So, yes. <laughs> yeah. It has only happened to me once with one particular client. I've, mm-hmm. I've done a number of sessions with them where they have brought the script along and they play it on their screen, even though I'm in my booth. Right. And wow. I find that interesting because when that very first happened, very first time that happened, I I was working from a tablet. Yep. And of course, they were working on Zoom and I was recording locally. And I had to adapt my whole way wow. of working yes. uh, on the fly. Mm. And then, then set up my whole way of working. I always work like that. Now I don't work on a tablet at all, unless I'm doing an audio book. You see, it's the same, it's the same with autocue, because of course, I've read a lot yes. of autocue on television. Mm-hmm. You have to be a good sight reader to do that. But over the years, the font has got bigger and bigger. And that's yes. fine because you need to be able to see it. And of course, I'm so vain, I don't wear my glasses on television. So uh, that's, that's probably my um. own fault. And I have heard, Blanche, that some dyslexics find if it's on coloured paper, it's much easier. Is that something that you find? Yeah, not for me, actually. And that just shows, though, that every one of us is different. different. Yeah, really. <laughs> so I am yeah. not like what works for me might not work for others. But um, yeah. But interesting. I have a friend that's dyslexic, but on his Kindle, on his Kindle Paperwhite, doesn't have a white background. He changes it to the sepia and it's much easier for him to read on sepia. Yes. Oh. It's something I need to test out more. But so far when I've tried it, it's not made a difference. So Interesting. I suppose the yes. thing is, is that if, if you can, it's the trick is to ask for something that works for you and everybody's yeah. different. Yeah. So, so it's, it's being yes. able to have the confidence to speak up and say, look, it'd be really helpful if... Um, yeah. I could have this. So, yeah, exactly. I think, as you say, Blanche, everybody's happy to help out. Yeah, now they are. I've definitely been on sessions where people have scoffed when I've said I'm dyslexic because they wow. just think, oh, come on, you just made a mistake. You're not, actually, <laughs> do you know what I mean? But uh, now I like to see things shifting. So, yes. Yes, yes. yes. well, I'm pleased good. to hear that. Absolutely. Let's say a huge thank you to our guest, Blanche Anderson. Thank you, Blanche. I hope you've enjoyed being on. Thank you, guys. I have. You tested my range. Sorry, just hit the mic. That's something not to do in a session. <laughs> right, we can all we can all hear. I'll hit mine as well. There you go. <laughs> I licked mine earlier, so you know. Let's, uh, let's let's go with it. So let's not take that out of context, backs. though, on this Halloween episode, shall we? Um, true, we will true. put all of Blanche's details in the show notes. We will, and remember that you can subscribe to the podcast on your favourite podcast platform, and the latest episode will magically appear on your device every single Friday. It will. Ooh. Well, that's it it for this week. Thanks again to Blanche for being a superb guest this Halloween. <laughs> that didn't really work, did it? Thank you. <laughs> Tune in next week for more scripts and another fabulous voiceover guest when we'll be asking could you, you know we all do this together Blanche, yes, right? It's true. Like, even okay. I've forgotten that. Actually, so anyway. <laughs> when we'll be asking <gasps> how, how do you say, say that? that? <laughs> how do you say that? <laughs> Ha 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 ha!